I want to talk about getting started with MySQL and PHP my admin on Docker Compose. Because even though there is nothing complicated there, the documentation can be a bit misleading, at least in my opinion. So I wanted to make this short video to clear all confusion. So a good starting point is the PHP my admin page on hub.docker.com. So let's open hub.docker.com and let's look for PHP my admin. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see this example code. I just copy it as it is and paste it to my new docker compose file. So here I have a new empty docker compose.yaml file and let's paste the code. And now we can run docker compose app. And we should be able to access the IP address of the server on port 8080. and we get the PHP my admin login page. So for the server, we need to use the name of the database service. In my case, it's DB. And then the username is root. And the password is what we have here. And if we try to log in, we can log in and we're now connected to the database. The problem starts when we try to change things in our Docker Compose file. So as an example, let's say that I want to change the image from MariaDB to MySQL. And let's also change the password to something a bit shorter. Not that secure, but more convenient. And let's try to stop Docker Compose with Ctrl C. Then rerun Docker Compose app. And if we get back to the PHP my admin page, and try to refresh the page. We are sent back to the login page. And if we try to log in again, we get all kinds of errors and we cannot log in. So it can be a bit confusing, but luckily it's quite easy to fix. So first, in addition to my services, I'm also going to define a network. And both of the containers that I use in my Docker Compose file are going to use this new network. So networks. And we need to give a name to our new network. I'll just call it network1. And then we can specify its driver and I'll go with bridge. Now that we define this new network, let's configure our two containers to use it. And another thing I want to do is to tell Docker Compose that the PHP my admin container depends on the database container. And we can do that using the depends on keyword. And here we need to specify the service it depends on. And let's stop Docker Compose. And I'm also going to run the prune command. I don't really know why, but it seems to sometimes help. And let's rerun Docker Compose up. And now everything is going to work and we will be able to connect to our server using PHP MyAdmin. 